Hello techies, welcome to Git Tutorials. By definition, Git is an open source and a distributed version control system for tracking changes in source code during software development. Let me introduce myself. Myself Amir, I'm a senior programmer. In this session, I will start with what is version control? What are the different types of version control systems? The main purpose and benefits of version control systems? What is SEM? What is repository and working copy? And the main part, what is Git? History of Git. And finally, I will close the session with advantages of Git. First of all, we will start with what is version control. Let me give an example to understand easily. Let us assume you don't have any version control and you are writing a code for a requirement which has given by a client. After some time, suddenly you got another requirement from the client which needs to complete in a couple of days on priority. In this case, what you will do? For the requirement one, in your workstation or PC, you will create a folder on your local desk and then you will make a copy of that one. So for the requirement two, what you will do, you will create another folder for the requirement in your same PC. And in the same way for the requirement three, you will create another folder by giving the names as future one or requirement one, requirement two or future two, requirement three or feature three. Let us assume if you want to match the code, what you have to do, you have to manually compare the code and then you have to match the code into the you know into the requirement or to make a master copy of the requirement so if you are again if you see let assume if you don't if the client don't want any requirement let assume requirement 2 so then what you will do you have to delete the code or you have to remove the code from the master copy so by deleting it manually so these are all manual tasks and you can make the mistakes so let us assume if you're having so many developers, like you know, developer one, you are doing it in the same way, and developer two, and developer three, developer four, and developer so on. If you are having in your team, what they will do in the same way you are going to creating in your workstation in the PC one, the developers also in the workstation one, two, three, they are going to create the folders in the same way. Say so there, what will happen? They do while you are going to match the code with the multiple developers and you are fetching the code manually there are a lot of issues will happen and also there are issues happens when you are comparing the files identifying what are the differences that you have from the requirement one and requirement two so you have to write manually to to maintain a worksheet or excel what are the changes you have made it for the requirement one and what are the changes you have made for the requirement two and how to match the code what are the changes that you have made it for the you know the history for the requirement and so on and this is very tedious talks and it is very complex talks to match the codes which has been developed by the developers to match the code to create a master copy to deliver to the client correct so Developing a software without using the version control is risky, like not having the backups of the code. Here is version controls comes into the picture. Version control is the management of multiple versions of the same or multiple files or documents, source code of the computer programs or anything else related to the large collection of information. Version control is sometimes referred as revision control or source control. It is an important component of the source code management or software configuration management. A version control system allows users to keep track of the changes in the software development projects and enables them to collaborate on those projects. Using version control, the developers can work together on a code and separate their tasks through branches. If you see on my screen, you know, the developer uh, one is going to be working on the version one or version two and version three in the same way uh, developer two and developer n is working on the different different versions which is given by the requirement by the client right so when you are merging by using the version control it is very easy to match the code as well as to update the code to get the latest code which developer n is working as well as developer one is working from the version control I hope now you understand what is version control. 
Now we'll see what is repository and working copy. Version control are associated with two basic components. One is the repository, another one is working copy. Repository is a database in which all the changes or edits implemented and all the historical versions of a project are stored. Historical versions are also known as snapshots. The repository sometimes may have some changes that have not been applied to a working copy that one has been created. In this case, you know, to get the latest code of the, you know, from the repository, you have to apply update command, which the working copy is updated with all the latest edits that has been done by any working on the project. Working copy. Working copy is a personal copy of the whole project that one can store locally on a personal computer and work on it without being able to affect the work of others. After the necessary changes have been made, the repository can be updated with them. This can be done by using a simple commit command. If you see, the repository, if you want to get the updates, you want to use update command. If you want to push the changes to the repository, you have to use commit command. Now we will see the types of version control systems. We have three types of, uh, you know, version control systems are available. One is local version control systems. Second, centralized version control systems. Third, distributed version control systems. Now we'll talk about the local version control systems. It is one of the simplest forms and has a database that kept all the changes to files under revision control. Revision control system is one of the most common version control system tools. It keeps patch sets in a special format on disk. By adding up all the patches, it can recreate what any file looked like at any point of time. Now we'll talk about the centralized version control system. If you see on my screen, centralized version control system contains just one repository and each user gets own working copy of what he is having. See, whenever you want to commit the changes, you just want to from the working copy, whatever you are working, you need to use the commit command to commit the changes into the repository. Whenever you want to update the, you know, the latest code into your working copy, you need to use update command. These are the two types of commands which we need to use in the real time scenario when you are working with centralized version control system. I'm explaining you again. You need to use commit your changes to the repository from the working copy. You need to use commit command. Whereas you need to get the latest code from the other working copy which has been committed by using in the repository, then you need to use update command. The benefit of the centralized version control systems is makes collaborate among the developers along with providing an insight to a certain instant on what everyone else is doing on the project. It allows administrators to find grind control over who can do what. But the main disadvantage of the centralized version control system is single point of failure. If the server goes down during the period of collaboration, entire saving of the version will not be as possible. And also, what if you know hard disk of the centralized database was corrupted and there's no proper backups has been kept? At that time, the entire data will be lost and everything, absolutely everything will be lost. At this point, distributed version control system comes into picture. Distributed version control system contains multiple repositories and each user has its own repository and working copy. Just committing your changes will not give others access to use your changes. Okay. And also, you know, if you're making any updates, it won't affect others. And also it won't affect what others are doing the changes. It won't affect you. If you see on my screen, every user having a, his own repository as well as the working copy. If you're going to use commit, okay, it will affect to your own repository. It will, the changes will commit to a repository only. And 
the changes if you want your change has to affect to others or the effect to the repository the main central repository then you need to use push command to make your changes available to others also then the others will use the pull command so that they will uh, you know fetch the latest code by the pull command to their working station or the, to their repository so they have to use these four commands like commit push pull update when you use the commit command then what will happen it won't affect to the you know, affect the changes to others so it will only happen in committing in your local repository in that case what you have to do you have to push the changes by the push command to the repository to the centralized repository so whenever they want to pull the code they will pull all the changes which has been committed by the others or whoever has done the push they will update the uh, commands by using the pull command they can fetch all the latest code but it can't affect until and unless you are going to be updating in your local okay the most popular distributed version control systems are git mercurial they will help us to overcome the problem of single point of failure now we'll talk about the benefits and the purpose of the version control multiple people can work simultaneously on a single project everyone works on and edits their own copy of the files and it is up to them when they wish to share the changes made by them with the rest of the team it also enables one person to use multiple computers to work on a project so it is valuable even if you are working by yourself it integrates the work that is done simultaneously by different members of the team in some rare cases when conflicts edits are made by the two people to the same line of file then human assistance is requested by the version control system in deciding what should be done version control provides access to the historical versions of a project this is insurance against computer crashes or data loss if any mistakes is made you can easily roll back to a previous version it is also possible to undo specific edits that to without losing the work done in the meanwhile it can be easily known when why and by whom any part of the file was edited the benefits of the version control system version control system allows you to compare files identify the differences and merge the changes if needed prior to the committing any code versioning is also a great way to keep track of application builds by being able to identify which version is currently in development qa and production environments now we will see what is scm scm stands for software configuration management or source code management scm is an integral part of any development project in the current it industry source code management is used to track modifications to a source code repository scm tracks a running history of changes to a code base and help resolve conflicts when merging updates from multiple contributors scm also a synonym of version control scm is not a part of git it's other way around as in git allows you to implement scm for your projects scm is a way to ensure code integrity and availability when working in teams or in collaborative environments think of maintaining copies of our work tagged by the task names on cloud these copies will be merged into one and it is tested in isolation you can also access copies of others people and check how their work goes with yours this helps in avoiding disasters now i hope you understand about the version control now you understand about the types of the version control system what is working copy what is repository and finally we have seen what is scm and also different benefits and purpose of the version control system correct now we'll go to the main point what is the main you know agenda of this session that is nothing but what is git by definition 
Git is an open source and a distributed version control system for tracking changes in source code during the software development. In another way, Git is an open source distributed SCM and the most popular software versioning system and the most popular DevOps tools widely used across the software industry. Git works on client server model, which is basically means that there is a central server which holds the main repository of code. Code can be downloaded from main repository simultaneously by various clients or developers. Git facilitates team which are located at geographically different places to collaborate on same project. To integrate Git with your DevOps workflow, you also need to host repositories where your team members can push their work. Currently, there are the there are two best online Git repo hosting services are available. One is GitHub, another one is Bitbucket. GitHub and Bitbucket are the best repository hosting services of Git and the most popular DevOps tools also. It is widely used across the software development industry and loved by the open source contributors and remote team due to its distributed source code management. Popular companies like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Netflix are extensively using Git in their CI/CD pipeline. Now we'll talk about the history of Git. Git is created by Linus Bendek Torvalds in 2005 for the development of Linux kernel with other kernel developers contributing to its initial development. Linus Bendek Torvalds is the creator of Linux. Its current maintainer from since 2005 is Junio Hamano. I will tell you some of the main goals of the Git. One is speed, simple design, strong support, fully distributed, and able to handle large projects like Linux kernel efficiently. Since its birth in 2005, Git has evolved and matured to be easy to use and yet to retain these initial qualities. It's amazingly fast, it's very efficient with large projects, and it has incredible branching system for nonlinear development. Now, let's start with the Git advantages. One of the biggest advantages of Git is branching and merging capabilities. Unlike centralized version control system, Git branches are cheap and easy to merge. This facilitates the feature branch workflow popular with many Git users. Feature branches provide an isolated environment for every change to your code base. When a developer wants to start a working on something, no matter how big or small, they create a new branch. This ensures that the master branch always contains production quality code. Using feature branches, it is not only reliable that directly editing production code, but it also provides organizational benefits. They let you represent development work at the same granularity as your Agile backlog. For an example, you might implement a policy where each Jira ticket is addressed in its own future branch. Now, another advantage is distributed model. This means your work is your own. You can let others see only what is necessary. Not everything has to be public. There are other advantages to be to the distributed model such as speed and possibility of working offline. Workflow is flexible with the Git. Compared to the centralized version control system, Git has the qualities that allow to choose your own workflow. It can be as simple as the centralized workflow to add the hierarchical as the dictator workflow. Another advantage is, so Git is very fast even when compared to other data version control systems for local as well as the network operations. I'm sure that you don't want to spend some dollars for your personal project. In the next session, I will teach you how to install Git and how to configure Git in Windows. Thank you for watching Git tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. Stay tuned with us by subscribing our channel. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.